Hi, my name is Razan Fuad al Bulbal from Princess Sumaya University for Technology. I am going to solve an example about available power gain circles and constant noise figure circles. I will solve it by using Kitab Studio and MATLAB calculator. First, let's see our example. The S parameters of a gallium arsenide MOSFET at 12 GHz, medium source is equal to 3.5 volt, and iodine source is equal to 25 mA R. S11 is equal to 0.6 and the angle is equal to 36 degree. S12 equal to 0.14 and the angle is equal to minus 85 degree. S21 is equal to 2.3 and the angle is equal to minus 80 degree. And finally, S22 is equal to 0.15 and the angle is equal to 45 degree. Determine uh, GA maximum, which means maximum available power gain, and draw the constant available power gain circles that are 1 dB less than GA maximum. If the noise reflection coefficient is equal to 2.5 dB and the noise parameters are gamma is equal to 0.475 and the angle is equal to 166 degree, the resistance equal to 3.5 ohm, then draw the noise figure circles and find a suitable intersection point that gives us a valid VSWRM, which will help us later to design the input matching network. First of all, we should enter the value of S parameters in the MATLAB calculator. S11 is equal to 0.6 and phase equal to 36 degree. S12 is equal to 0.14 and phase is equal to minus 85 degree. S21 is equal to 2.3 and phase is equal to minus 80 degree and finally s2 is equal to 0.15 and phase is equal to 45 degree okay now click on basic data one icon to check the stability for this system click on delta and k uh, as we can see uh, the magnitude of delta is less than is, is less than 1 and the magnitude of the k is greater than 1 so it's stable for all points thus there is no need to draw a stability circle for this system to solve part a we will click on available power gain circles icon to find maximum available power gain and the available power gain circles data We'll click here. Uh, as we can see, maximum available gain is equal to 9.67 dB. So, the first available power gain value equals to 8.67. Click here. The radius is equal to 0.298 and magnitude and phase for the center is equal to 0.603 and minus 40.5 for the second one we will take 7.67 click here and the values for the radius and the center is like here And so for uh, and so for the six point six seven and for five point six seven. Then the value that we obtained will be put in a table like this. As we can see, the values are transferred into centimeters by multiplying them by 8.1. The value of 8.1 is brought from the radius of the Smith chart measured by using the ruler. Going to Kitab Studio, I will choose the ruler. And 
and measure the radius of this math chart. As we can see, it is equal to 8.1 centimeter. Now, I will start drawing the available power gain circles as the follows. Tools, ruler, Uh, all the circles are located uh, at a uh, phase of minus 40.5 which is located here and I will draw along it using the compass at 8.67 dB uh, center is equal to From this point, I will draw a circle which has a radius of 2.5 cm. This circle is for 8.6 7 dB. Now for 7.67 dB, I will draw the center which has a magnitude of 4.1. From this point, I will draw a circle which has a radius of 3.5. This circle for 7.67 dB. Now for 6.67 dB, I will specify center and open the compass. Three point four centimeter. From this center, I will draw a circle which has a radius of four point four centimeter.
And finally, for point for 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 the gain five point six seven dBU, the center is equal to two point eight. From this center, I will draw a circle which has a radius of 5.67 GB Now for part B, open the MATLAB calculator and click on the noise figure circle icon and enter the values that we have. The noise reflection coefficient is equal to 0.475 and phase of 166 into the noise parameters 2.5 and the resistance is equal to 3.5 noise figure is equal to 2.5 as we can see the radius is equal to 0 and the center is equal to 0.475 at a phase of 166 degree now we will calculate the noise figure circle for a noise figure of 2.6. Radius is equal 0.184 and the center is equal to 0.455 at a phase of 166 degree. For 2.7, the radius is equal to 0.257 and the center is equal to 0.435 at the phase of 166 degree and so for 2.8 here the values and 2.9 and 3 dB Then, the value that we obtained will be also placed in a table like this. Don't forget to multiply these values by 8.1 to transfer them into centimeter units. Going to the to GitHub Studio, um, I will start drawing the noise figure circles as the follows. Cooler. All noise figure circles are located at a phase of 166 degree, which is located here.
Andrew is alright. From the center to here. Compass. The first noise figure circle is 2.5 dB. Uh, which have a cent which had a center of 3.85 and has a, a radius of zero so it is just a point This is the maximum noise figure circle. Now for point for two point six uh, dB, I will specify I will specify the center which is equal to 3.7 centimeter And from this point, I will draw a circle which has a radius of 1.5 centimeter. Now for 2.7 dB, I will specify the center, which equal to 3.5. And from this point, we will draw a circle which has a radius of 2.1 cm. Two point seven DB and for this circle in here it is for two point six DB. Now for 2.8 dB, the center is equal to 3.3. .3. From this center, I will draw a circle which has a radius of 2.5 cm.
Now for 2.9 dB, the center is equal to 3.2. From this center, I will draw a circle which has a radius of 2.9 cm. circular circle which is equal to 3 dB I will specify the center and open the compass to equal 3.1 cm From this center, I will draw a circle which has a radius of 3.2 cm. This is the noise figure circles then we will choose a point which is the intersection between one of the noise figure circles and one of the available power gain circles. Let's take this point. Then I will take the compass and measure the, va the, dist the value of this distance from the origin to the, va to the point, to this point. And now The reflection coefficient, the reflection coefficient uh, for the source magnitude is equal to uh, 0.28 and to find the angle of the reflection coefficients for the source I will use the ruler, I will use the ruler And draw a line from 
the origin that intersect the point that I choose. As we can see, the angle of the source reflection coefficient is equal to minus 147 degree. Going to the MATLAB calculator and clicking on constant VSWR calculation icon. Now, enter the value of the previously produced source reflection coefficients, which is equal 0.28 with phase of minus 147. Clicking here, as we can see, VSWRN is equal to 4.88, which is less than 5. So, the intersection point that we choose is a valid point. Thank you.